Hey, uh, my name is Dr. Cheryl Meyer and I'm a psychologist. I'm in my office right now, but on, on social media, I'm just, I'm just myself, Cheryl. Um, and today we're going to talk about what I was just seeing this morning is I, I was thinking about this clock that I had and the clock uh, wasn't working, right? And I thought, well, maybe the battery's not working. And and um, I see things mystically. So I teach people how to navigate through their spiritual awakening. And all of life is a spiritual awakening. And how to listen to your intuition and develop that, you know, ask the divine, ask divine love, ask God, you know, awaken my spiritual sight. Give me the inner eyes to see. Uh, we we have not because we ask not. We forget to ask, and in asking, it's like creating space for that to happen, like um, allowing for that to happen. And so I was thinking about this. Um, well, what if the battery wasn't working, and the and the clock could work, but the battery doesn't work? And so it's like I used to have this thing where you could put your batteries in, and it would light up to see if the battery is working. Or I looked up the other day, like how to see if an egg has gone bad, because I'll have just eggs in my refrigerator, <laughs> like I don't cook a lot. And um, and uh, it's like you can put it in a bowl of water, and if it floats, it's not good, no bueno. And so um, it's like I was meditating on this first the other day, and so it's a proverb, so it's a wisdom teaching, right? I think it was in. Proverbs 14, if you want to look it up, but it was just all flowing together this morning because I'm always asking for insight and wisdom and because I always want to love on a higher level. So that's why whatever comes to me, I have a hand and I, I give it out for you guys because I, I want other people look like this couple right there, you know, to, to, you know, there's the roses rise, open your soul eyes, see things through your soul's eyes, not through your egotism. You know, I want people, look, there's an angel above. That's Charlie's, um, uh, Charlie Maxey. I've had those for like 20 years now. Um, yeah, those prints. Anyway, that's a long story. But, um, but it's just like, I want everyone to experience that love, this, this intimacy. Oh, look what I'm looking at right now. It's like, this was, I was just looking at this on my desk, you know, it's Aslan with Susan and Lucy, you know after he resurrects um in the narnia books it's like i want and look at this other thing a client gave me this it said um yes said queen lucy in our world too a stable once held something inside that was bigger than our whole world and it's like the picture of the inside of a stable you know and the crown of thorns you know if you think of Christ, if if Christ is the God man and Christ came here on earth and he was born in a stable, you know, I've had a lot of meditations about what that is, like this cave. It was like a cave and it's like, you know, he was buried in a cave and he was born in a cave and it was also a stable for animals. And we have like this higher nature and this animal nature and, you know, he's waking us up so we can resurrect this higher nature. But back to um the proverbs it was so it was so good i was like oh i want to i was thinking of making a whole new youtube channel just for teaching people how to date with these kinds of principles um so who knows like i can't spread myself out too thin but i'm taking this time out for you to teach you this it's like it was saying because i was looking up the hebrew and sometimes i just sit with it and i'm meant to be in like more of a just experiencing it and sometimes i go into my doctor mode you know and um oh that's the copy of a book that i wrote unbreakable bonds but anyway practicing the art of loving and being loved that's always what's in my heart heart to teach people is how to love on a higher level and so this verse, when you look it up in Hebrew, because it was originally written in Hebrew, maybe by Solomon, um, which was known, like the Queen of Sheba came to visit him. He was known to be one of the wisest people on the earth, or was so. But anyway, it said, um, 
it some, said something like, um, test a person to see if their knowledgeable or foolishness is on their lips, if is in their language. It's on their lips means in their language. If, and it wasn't, it was just like, so you can know through experience. Like, I get so mad at myself sometimes. It's like, oh, why didn't I know, you know, that this person was going to betray me or, or be harmful or whatever. And it's just like, you know, from learning discernment, this is how we are in life. We, we learn, you know, we're in the duality, the yin and the yang, the, the up and the down, the bad and the good. And so sometimes we have blinders on from our childhood because we kept wanting to see uh, abusive parents, let's say, in a good light. And so we made all sorts of excuses for them. And so we'll find other people that are just as distant and they're like, oh, I couldn't, I can't be close. I can't have intimacy because, um, you know, I don't know how to do that or whatever. We give them all these excuses. And it's like, <gasps> I remember going to therapy a long, long time ago, right? And um, my my therapist, this is Jewish woman. She's, she was great. She was just like, Cheryl, you know, if you wanted an intimate relationship, you would find someone that's available for intimacy. And I was like, what? They come like that? <laughs> because I was used to my own father. And in my experience, you know, he can have whatever. But in my experience, you know, um, it, it, he wasn't emotionally available or available for true closeness, you know for um giving and and lots of other things he tried to do and telling us to be wise and i learned a lot i did learn but it just you know but anyway let's go into your stuff like i try to be open with mine so i can just be an example of a person not so we can go into my story because i don't need to tell my story it's just it's just useful so that I because I can't tell my client stories some can't t sometimes I can to disguise them and stuff but anyway so it's like once you know that this battery is not working it's it's toxic or it's um you know it's it's like a fool it was talking about a wise man learns a wise man or woman learns and becomes more wise and a foolish person you know the arrogant person relishes their folly they they brag about it and so it i looked up the word it's like depart from the person who you discern to, to be um scornful and foolish and that chooses the foolish ways now i'm not i'm not um, breaking up marriages or anything like that um how we depart in those kinds of situation is depart from excusing those kinds of behaviors and learn why you're not setting boundaries. And, you know, if you need professional help, go get professional help. And, um, um, awareness helps so much of this when you're aware in the present moment of what's going on and you're not hooked in and caught up in it then you can start seeing how you're playing out old childhood dynamics. I mean, that's what my expertise is um, because I, I've been doing this for like almost my whole life, you know? Um, and I'll say I created a year long class on learning how to be present where you're getting a one hour video every week. And I'm not trying to just shamelessly plug here or anything like that. I'm just saying, this is what I made available because I want people to have real transformations that last. And so it's like 50 weeks of one hour videos and 50 weeks of one hour a week in a group call. That's what my uh, Awakening Intuition with the Power of Now life transformation classes. You can go to drcherylmeyer.com and it ought to be up there and pick either three months or six or nine months or whatever it is or 12 months. But anyway, or watch. I have almost 500 now, I haven't looked lately, YouTube videos. Go subscribe to my channel and share those and comment so that my channel can grow so more people can get this free information because, and free, it's like, it's like 
the consciousness that you are around, you become more like that. And so I work really hard to be present every day and to be close to Christ, you know, and even if you're not my same religion, it's like you, by, by listening to this and being present with wise understanding and insight and looking at these, you're, you're gaining in your insight. It says a foolish, the wise person takes time to get insight, to look at it. The, the Hebrew word was, as it was about insight, getting insight, seek for wisdom. Like you're seeking for gold. You're meant to go after these things. You're not meant to just keep going around in life unconscious. You have gifts and a vision inside that that's divinely given to you. Each person here, I believe that we're all souls. We're God consciousness in a physical body. And so there are people that are missing out on your gifts when you're not activating your gifts gifts and so when we waste time staying around foolish people we make our oh that's why and the obi-wan quote came to me it's like who's the more foolish the fool or the fool who follows him you know when we keep following the foolish we become foolish so follow the wise get in wisdom and and learn how to discern the battery detector um, in your own life uh, I wish you so much love. Thanks for being here.